majority of stars in the universe are main sequence stars. They are stars that still convert hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion. Main sequence stars have a mass between a third to eight times that of the Sun, and they eventually burn through their hydrogen supplies. Today, we will discuss with you on the topic how a red giant is formed. Welcome back. This is Ignatius Life. A red giant star is formed when a star like our sun burns all of its hydrogen and helium supplies. This process can take up to 10 billion years. When a star becomes a red giant, it will start to expand and become denser. It will then start burning helium to carbon for a couple of million of years until eventually the helium runs out. When helium runs out, the star will not be dense enough to form other heavy elements like iron. This the fusion process will stop and the star will collapse on its core due to inward acting gravity. This happens because there is no longer any fusion energy to stabilize gravity. Red giant may eventually become white dwarfs, a cool and extremely dense star with its size being shrunk several times to that of a planet even. Most stars in the universe are main sequence stars, those converting hydrogen into helium via nuclear fusion. Temperatures increase with the contraction, eventually reaching levels where helium is able to fuse into carbon. Depending on the mass of the star, the helium burning might be gradual or might begin with an explosive flash. Although fusion is no longer taking place in the core, the rise in temperature heats up the shell of hydrogen surrounding the core until it is hot enough to start hydrogen fusion, producing more energy than when it was a main sequence star. Red giant stars reach sizes of 100 million to 1 billion kilometers in diameter, otherwise 62 million to 621 million miles, 100 to 1000 times the size of the sun today because the energy is spread across a larger area. Surface temperatures are actually cooler, reaching only 2200 to 3200 degrees Celsius, otherwise 4000 to 5800 degrees Fahrenheit. A little over half as hot as the sun. This temperature change causes stars to shine in the redder part of the spectrum, leading to the name red giant, though they are often more orangish in appearance. Stars spend approximately few thousand to one billion years as a red giant. Eventually, the helium in the core runs out and fusion stops. The star shrinks again until a new helium shell reaches the core. When the helium ignites, the outer layers of the star are blown off in huge clouds of gas and this known as planetary nebula. These shells are much larger and fainter than their parent stars. The core continues to collapse it on itself. Smaller stars such as the Sun end their lives as compact white dwarfs. The material of larger, more massive stars fall inward until the star eventually becomes a supernova, blowing of gas and dust in a dramatic fury death.